to find the area of this triangle, we know that the height of this is 4 unit and the base is 4 unit as well. So area is equal to a half times base which is 4 and times the height as well which is 4. So which give me 8 square units. Now we can use calculus to find the um, shaded area. So by using just integration between 0 to 4 because the x value is from 0 to 4. So we just integrate from 0 to 4. And the function is y equal x. So of course x dx because x is the variable from 0 to 4. So that's how it is. So which give me integrate x, it give me x squared divided by 2. Of course, from 0 to 4. So now what I do, I just substitute the value in, which is 4, substitute x, replay with 4, so which is 4 squared or over 2 minus 0 squared over 2. So which give me 4 squared 16 divided by 2 is 8 minus 0. So the answer is 8 units square. This is called definite integration. From 0 to 4, integrate x dx is definite integration. Please take note on that. I would like you to pause the video and try to do, your, do it yourself by using calculus so as to see if you can actually find the area under the curve. Now to do this, we know that the value of x is between 0 to 6. So of course we want to find the area of this. So area is equal to integration between 0 to 6. Of course the function is y is equal to 2 over 3x. So which is 2 third of x dx. Of course to integrate this, we add 1 to x, so which is 2 over 3, x squared. 1 plus 1, is, 1 plus 1 is 2, so x squared. Of course, we divide by 2 as well. So I just write time a half. And then uh, from 0 to 6. So what I do, I simplify this. So that left with x squared over 3. From 0 to 6. So substitute the value in, so which is 6 squared, which is 36 over 3 minus 0 squared over 3 is 0. So this is it. And then the answer is just 36 over 3, so which is 12 square units. Let's evaluate this. So what we need to do. We integrate this first and then we substitute the value in. So integrate x squared, it give me x power 3 divided by 3. Plus integrate 3x, it give me 3x squared divided by 2. At 5x. Of course you can add a c, but we don't have to because if you add a c toward the end, you should cancel out. So we we'll just ignore the c because it's definite integration, we can ignore the C as well. So we just do this, so put 1 and 3 here. So now all we need to do is just substitute the value in. So start from 3, so 3 power of 3 is 27, divided by 3, plus 3x squared, which is 3, replay with 3, so 3 times 3 squared is 9, over 2, plus 3 times 5 is 15 and then this is first one and minus now the one we substitute one in here so minus so one power three is still one so one over three plus three lots of one square is still three so three over two one lots of um, five lots of one is five so just write it down like this now I just type this um, on a calculator so open bracket so 27 divided by 3 is 9 plus 
3 times 9 27 so 27 over 2 and then um, add 15 close bracket minus so it's just one third one over three and of course put press the arrow button and then add three over two which is 1.5 if you like but just type I just type that in at five and close bracket so which give me 92 over three but I want to write in mixed numeral of course so the answer is 30 and two third and remember there's no unit because this is just evaluate please pause the video and try this one yourself to do this of course we first integrate this function here first so which is x power 3 divided by 3 or I can write one third and then minus 5 x square because you add 1 divided by 2 or I can just write simply 5 over 2 of x square and I minus 3x of course integrate 3 is 3x so now I just substitute the value in so which give me one third of one cube is one minus five over two x squared so is one square so give me one so it's just minus two third and three less of one is three just minus that and then minus and now which is minus by substitute the negative two in the function so which is one third of negative two power of three minus five over two negative 2 square if you like you can just type that straight away if you not confident with your um, um, arithmetics so I just put that in a calculator or I can just do one by one so this this bracket here give me negative 31 over 6 and this here give me a minus so they give you minus 20 over 3 and just put in a calculator which give me one and a half I hope your answer is same as mine now let's try this one see if you can so I give you a clue so which is first of all square root of um, x you can convert write this out as x power of half first and then you just integrate normally and then you substitute the value in try this yourself see if you can first of all I write this in um, index form first so that from 1 to 4 so I write this so x over 4 plus x to the power half and of course dx now I can integrate this so which is integrate x give me x squared of course over 4 divided by 2 so it is time by 2 underneath here plus so x you add 1 to a half which is 3 over 2 then I divide by 3 over 2 you flip it become time 2 over 3 so I can just write 2 third and of course from 1 to 4 that's the value we need to substitute in and I just simplify this first before I substitute the value in so that's same as x square over 8 plus 2 over 3 3 over 2 and then from 4 to 1 to 4 so now I just substitute the value in so which is 4 square x square is 4 square so 4 square like this over 8 plus 2 third of x power of 3 over 2 which is the same as remember x 3 over 2 it's the same as square root of x power of 3 so which is I can write like that so which is square root of 4 power of 3 4 power of 3 square root or you can write square root of 4 or power of 3 either way and then um, of course we minus substitute the value the 1 in now to substitute 1 in so 1 square is 1 so 1 over 8 2 third of 1 power of um, anything is 1 anyway so just 2 third times 1 so it's just 2 third 
So now I just worked it out. You can use calculator, of course, just type exactly in. Otherwise, six, um, 16 over 2, 4 squared 16, 16 over 8, I mean, is, is equal to 2. And then uh, plus, now square root 4 is 2, 2 part 3 is 8. So it's 8 times 2 is 16 over 3. Now, I just write this down. So 1, 8 plus 2, 3rd. Now, I just typed it in the calculator. And it's give me so 6 and 13 over 24. Last one here. So first of all, to do this, we must simplify first. There's no such a rule for integration with uh, one function over the other. So what we need to do, we need to simplify this first. So we split them out. This is just like minus, integrate from the minus 2 to 3, just x plus 3 divided by x, minus x squared over x, and minus x over x, like that. And then dx, of course. So now I just simplify this, so, which is integration between minus 2 to 3, x power 3 divided by x is x squared and x squared divided by x is x and that cancel out give me 1 so that's dx so now I just integrate this so which give me x power 3 divided by 3 minus x squared over 2 minus x of course from minus 2 to 3 now I just substitute the value in. So 3 power 3 equal 27. So 27 divided by 3 is 9. Minus 3 square is 9. So 9 over 2 and minus 3. That's the first um, value for 3. Now we just substituted the 2 in. Negative 2 I mean. So that minus open bracket. So minus 2 power 3 if you're not confident with your uh, Multiplication, you can just substitute the value in. That's power of 3. Sorry, just rewrite that. So power of 3 all over 3 minus, so negative 2 square over 2 and then minus, minus, give you a plus. So all I can just write this like this and nothing wrong with that. But of course, it's made your life easier if you just do uh, simplify as you go. So you don't have to uh, do so many steps. So this one, I put my put um, this value in a calculator. It gave me 3 over 2 minus this one here. We can say minus, minus, open bracket. So minus 2 power 3 is negative 8 over 3. Otherwise, just you calculate if you're not confident. So it's minus 2 power 2, it's just 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2 and add 2. So I can just simplify like that. So that's give me 3 over 2 plus 8 over 3. Otherwise, just put that in a calculator will give you the answer. This will give me 9, 9 over 6 at 16 over 6, which give me 25 over 6. Of course, to write in mixed numeral, which give me 4 and 1, 6.